Hi, and welcome to the Drill Pro segment on arc machining. Today we're going to put a corner on one of our workpieces, and to utilize that, we're going to be using the simple arc function. So let's go ahead and go to our mill, and let's take a look at how to do that. Now the goal today is to make a one inch radius cut on my workpiece, but before I do that, what I want to do is I want to know exactly the relationship between my end mill and my workpiece. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to make a cut along the very front followed by a cut on the side of the workpiece. And that establishes the exact distance from the center point of my end mill to my workpiece. Alright, so at this point I've completed my first cut or my front cut, but what I want to make sure is before I reposition my mill for the second cut, I need to make sure that the absolute coordinate system is set such that when I start my arc radius or my radius cut, the end mill is exactly positioned one inch from the front of the workpiece. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing that I need to do is zero out my Y coordinate. So we'll go ahead and press the Y zero button and it zeroes out the Y axis. Next, I need to use the calculator mode. So let's go ahead and push the calculator button and then I'm going to enter the diameter of my end mill. And that value is 0.6928 inches. I'll divide that by two so I come up with a radius of the end mill and then I'm going to add one because I want to reposition the end mill exactly one inch behind the front of the workpiece. So plus one equals 1.3464 inches. So I want to change the Y axis zero coordinate by exactly this amount. So how do we do that? Well, the way that we accomplish that is by pushing the Y0 button. You can see that the display changes. And what's happened here is that this value that was calculated on the right-hand window is temporarily placed in the Y-axis window. So let's go ahead and move our mill now such that we zero out this coordinate. As I move my table to the front, you can see that my y-axis is zeroing out. And I'll just continue until it completely zeroes out. Alright, so at this point we've moved the table such that the y-axis coordinate is zeroed out. But remember, that transfer from the calculator to the y-coordinate window is just temporary. So we want to make sure that we truly establish now the zero point on the y-axis. So let's go ahead and hit enter and that brings it out of the calculator mode to the absolute mode. So again we need to remember to zero out the y-axis and we simply push the y zero button and now we display zero as a y-coordinate. So what that means if we go over to our workpiece, that means that the center of our end mill is exactly one inch from the front of the workpiece, which is exactly where we want it to be because that's where we want to start our arc of one inch such that we can exactly finish up on the front edge of the workpiece. Now I know that's quite a mouthful and perhaps a little bit hard to follow along, but I think after we make our radius cut, it'll all make a little bit more sense. So at this point, let's go ahead and bring our end mill over to the right hand side of our workpiece and we'll make the final cut on that.
All right, so now I've finished my final cut on the right-hand side. Let's go ahead and take a look at the display and see where we're at position-wise. I look at my x-axis coordinate here, and we have a value there, but that's not exactly what I want. I know that I've just performed my finish cut, so let's go ahead and zero that out. Now, as far as our y-axis goes, let's go ahead and move our y-axis such that it zeroes it out. So we'll go ahead and zero out the display. So now that we're exactly one inch behind the front surface of our workpiece, now we're ready to begin the arc procedure. Now before we do any cutting, we have to program the arc parameters. So let's go ahead and do that on our display. If we look on the display at the lower right hand side, we can see our simple arc button. So let's go ahead and start off by pushing that. And today we're going to perform the arc cut in the XY coordinate. So let's go ahead and arrow down to the XY coordinate system. We'll push the enter button. This will be a type 4 radius cut. We'll enter that. Arrow down. And the radius of the cut, as previously discussed, is 1 inch. We'll enter that. Arrow down. Our tool diameter is 0.6928 inches. We'll enter that, arrow down. All right, now an R negative value means that you're performing an inside edge cut. But if we look on our workpiece, we can see that we're performing an outside edge cut. So what we need to do is arrow up such that R plus is displayed, meaning that we're cutting an outside edge. And we'll go ahead and enter that, and then arrow down and you can see that it's prompting me for a max cut value. So today I want to use 0.1 inches as my max cut value and we'll arrow down and this leads me to point number one for my arc cut. So now it's time to start machining, start getting into the corner cut. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're just about ready to go here. You can see that point one is our present position. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and start my mill up and then arrow down to point two. And we're basically, once the mill's going, we're simply gonna move the end mill so that it zeroes out both axes and displays zero. So let's go ahead and do that.
Okay, so the milling machine's off. Let's go ahead and take a look at our project. Uh, a very respectable result here. Uh, only 23 points, and we've got a very nice corner on the edge of our project. Now, let's remember that we entered a value of 0.1 inches in the max cut parameter, and that determines the distance between subsequent cuts. If we'd entered a smaller value, such as 0 0.02 inches, then we would have gotten a lot smoother arc. Of course, there would have been a lot more waypoints to machine to, but again, we would have gotten a much, much smoother surface. But for only 23 points, that did a great job, and I think it gives everyone a good overview of exactly what arc machining can do and really how simple it is. Well, that concludes our segment on arc machining. I've shown you how to do it. It's easy to do, and now you can do it too.